Hey, what is going on guys? Today we have got some more FIFA 20. We're going to be starting to get more of official gameplay within career mode. We've got career mode uh, here today. A lot of information, a lot of what I do on my channel is career mode stuff. So yeah, as you would see, we'll be taking a look at some of the transfer budgets. We'll get into that. But of course, guys, leave a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it and you do want to uh, be seeing more if you want me to continue to upload FIFA 20 and of course so you see that if you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe and turn the notifications on so yeah as I did say we are going to be uh, doing a lot of FIFA 20 stuff until the build up of the release of course next month well, is when it releases but when the early access comes out uh, I'll be doing career mode stuff on my channel as well in terms of uh, series and that so let's get into the let's get into the main stuff here though guys this is before you select the team. So Manchester United, th the big thing about this video is the transfer budget. So Manchester United is the only one we're going to have where there's the clip of it or th there's the image of it. But we're going to go through uh, on this website where it shows all the transfer budgets and not even just for the Premier League, just all leagues as well. So yeah, all these stuff is starting to come out now because Gamescom... Because, yeah, Gamescom, people are playing the game, uh, YouTubers are playing the game, so I don't know where uh, this came from, if there was a specific YouTuber that uh, recorded this part and someone took a photo from it, uh, from a video, but either way, uh, someone, <laughs> yeah, someone uploaded it on the website, you'll see it when I go on that, showing you, yeah, all the transfer budgets and all of that, but the pressing concern, guys, is it's really the same, like, th at least this section, like, they talked about all the information you see, um, all that, well, all the things that's new to career mode, uh, fair enough, but this, it feels like I'm gonna look at this for a few seconds, and then just click on the team I wanna be for my career mode, you take a look at, like, the biography thing, it says Newton Heath Alwayar was formed in 1878, but I, we don't read that, if anything, what we're talking about today, the transfer budget, yeah, you read the transfer budget, club worth, that is that is important. Maybe you look at their stars, but that's that's about it. It's almost useless, and because we know, we know what the board expectations are, and that's not going to change uh, dramatically from team to team, so you know, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, uh, what do you guys think about this? It's almost, eh, it's like pointless. It, it, it's pointless. You might say it's nothing huge, but honestly, maybe take a look at a if they before selecting your new team. Imagine if you could see like three players or something like that. Your highest rank players. I don't know whether they have their little face or something. Maybe their overall on top of their head or under them. Like yeah, what do you guys think about how this is in FIFA 20? It's uh, really hasn't uh, really hasn't changed uh, for the new game. So is it that important anyway? Maybe let me know in the comments. But here we go. As I said, this website here, FIFAGameNews.com, they did post this image. So shout out to them. I'll leave a link to this article. I'll leave a link to this article in the description as well uh, so you can have a bit of a read of it yourself. So because, yeah, England, most popular league, uh, especially uh, from you guys watching this, a lot of UK viewers I get, uh, as expected, for FIFA stuff, uh, for football... We're gonna go through the all the transfer budgets. We're gonna we're gonna go through the English the, or the Premier League, and then we'll go down and the other English leagues, and then we'll go through them all together. So they're all in this video. So unfortunately, yeah, we can't see the in-game in-game photo because that wasn't posted uh, of every single team. But uh, we have got the information here. So Arsenal, I'm not gonna spend too much time on it as well, like uh, talking about every single team or something. Just let you know how much they have. Arsenal, 69 million solid budget for them. Uh, could something to do with it the bigger teams yeah uh yeah they're due to have a lot of money uh aston villa 35 mil bournemouth 34 brighton they got 30 million there burnley 23 not too much 23 million there but chelsea 86 million it's interesting though uh they probably ea won't have incorporated their transfer ban but yeah, uh, we never really expected that, to be honest. You can implement it yourself by not making signings, maybe. <laughs> Let me know what you would do uh, with a Chelsea career. Uh, Crystal Palace with 32 mil. Everton, 48. Leicester City, 42 million. Liverpool, close to the 100 million right there. They got 97. 
Manchester City, 167 mil. Manchester United with that little bit more. So again, like you see there, that's uh, that's accurate as to what that is. If you if you were wondering if all these other were accurate. Uh, they wouldn't be made up. That would be weird. Uh, but yeah, that really shows that with the Man United one. The Man City, uh, very, very similar. Uh, close transfer budget. Newcastle United and Norwich both have around $23 million there. Sheffield United with the lowest transfer budget in the Premier League. They're on the 17. That's not a lot. Just over $17 million for a Premier League side. Uh, they're going to be a challenge. Maybe I might think about doing a career mode with them as a challenger. And, I'm, and if you're wondering about Man United, yeah, I'm going to do a Man United career from the start uh, on the early access. Uh, look out for that. Subscribe if you haven't, if you're, yeah, if you're interested in seeing that. But uh, yeah, $33 million for Southampton. Tottenham, pretty decent uh, budget there with 72, uh, flat 72. Actually, the only team that has, uh, in the Premier League at least, that has that flat, like $72 million. Then all zeros there. So exactly 72 mil. Watford, 36. Uh, 48 million for West Ham. And Wolves just under 40 there with their 39. So that is the Premier League. The English Premier League budgets, as I said, will go down to see uh, the other English the other English competitions, the other English leagues, see what they've got, and other ones stand out, uh, stand out right here, so yeah, you can take a look at these, and like I said, I'll put the link in the description, I'm just going to focus on some of these that uh, that stand out to me, or have the biggest budgets, uh, there's Bristol City there, just under, under 10 million, they're on 9 million, Cardiff City, uh, almost 11, they're just that, uh, under 11 million there, they're 10 Ten million nine hundred sixty-two k. So that's that's a pretty strong budget. But then Fulham, as expected, sixteen and a half mil. Uh, Leeds United, uh, fifteen million, just over that. Uh, almost thirteen and a half mil for Middlesbrough. Uh, Nottingham Forest, close to twelve. With Eleven million eight eight hundred eight yeah eight hundred. Uh, Eleven million eight hundred k is pretty strong. Uh, Stoke, sixteen and a half mil. Swansea. Just over 12 mil there. And West Brom, almost 16 mil. So those are the teams. I kind of focus on teams that were uh, almost yeah, almost all of them that were 10 million or more. There was, yeah, Bristol City that had 9 mil. So Huddersfield, yeah, Huddersfield really close as well. They're just under. They're like 100k away from 10 million. So, yeah, that's a, that's a few teams with decent, decent budgets. Intrigues me as we go down right now. They're very similar, guys. They've League One. Almost every team is between, like, somewhere between, like, 1 million. In between 1 million and 2 million. So the standouts, Ipswich Town, about 2.5 mil. And, yeah, that's pretty much it, apart from Sunderland. You know, Sunderland, they're going to have a bit more money than these other sides. Uh, it gives you a bit of budget to play with for a road to glory, potentially. Uh, now, let's see. Uh, the proper road... People like to say a proper road to glory is, yeah, a team starting from League Two. So if you take a look there... Uh, any team above, oh, is there any close to 2 million? Uh, yeah, not quite. So they're all kind of in the same position. Bradford, uh, they're just under that uh, 1,700,000K. So they've got the most money to play with, along with other teams like Plymouth and Salford, of course. Salford is going to do... I'm not even going to say I'm going to do a Road to Glory career mode with them because that's going to be... Like, people are going to get on that, like, so much. You're going to you're gonna see so many people doing that. Like, there probably will be, like, one or two big YouTubers doing it and then, like, a lot of others. So, yeah, they'll be oversaturated on YouTube. And they're probably one of the easiest sides to do it with. They'll have money coming in each season. Uh, there wouldn't be the hardest challenge for a road to glory. But, uh, yeah, I can see the reasons why people go for that. So, yeah, those are all the English transfer budgets. And the rest we'll go through. Yeah, just at the top of the page here, see there's a little image of there, like transfer budget. You've got Jaden Sancho there as well. So I'm not going to go through reading every single one. I'll go through to some of the biggest leagues uh, that will attract the most interest uh, for us. But... Yeah, you can click the link in the description to go to this if you really want to. Uh, ooh, Australia. See, that sparks the interest, the Australian ones for me. Uh, Melbourne City, no surprise. I support Melbourne Victory, above 4 million. Pretty happy with that. Yeah, no surprises there. The Melbourne teams and Sydney, um, uh, Sydney FC, yeah, to have the most uh, to have the most money. So we're going to go down. Uh, as I said, we're going to go to top, uh, top, European, uh, top European leagues. Obviously, yeah, just past England again. Uh, we'll head away down so France and point out the big the big getters here. Uh, yeah, uh, so AS Monaco, their budget thirty six million. Uh, then Marseille uh, sixteen, Lyon thirty six million, and then PSG with a hundred and sixty five million. 
golly gosh, they've got a lot to play with. If you wanna, yeah, if you if you wanna go with a team that has got cash to be spending on the big names, yep, go PSG and have some fun with the transfers, and then their league too. We don't worry too much about. So now the Bundesliga in Germany. Uh, let's see, a couple of top budgets here: Bayer Leverkusen, uh, Bayern Munich, the only the only team in Germany with over hundred. With over 100, if you compare to Dortmund, 65. Dortmund has always kind of been that half of their transfer budget uh, towards Bayern Munich and always trying to compete with them. So you see Gladbag, you see Frankfurt around that 20, uh, just over 20 million. Her the BC is the same. Uh, Her the BSC, uh, yeah, they're about the same. Leipzig, Leipzig about 57 million to play with. That's pretty uh, pretty heavy. Like that's the next highest. Uh, after uh, Bayern and uh, Borussia Dortmund. So taking a look at that. Uh, Schalke as well. They've got some to play with them. Wolfsburg. So there's a few teams if you didn't want to go... If you didn't want to go Bayern or Dortmund as well, if you wanted to go another team, try and challenge for the title. Yeah, there's a few teams there. They've got a bit of money. Uh, there's Stuttgart. Stuttgart in uh, in the second Bundesliga there. They've got a bit of money to play with, $21 million. Maybe Hanover 96 as well. Uh, then Germany, they've got the third division as, as well. How about, the, the, how about that to start a road to glory? Uh, a lot of people just do it in England, but yeah, try and want in, in their third division uh, would be very interesting. Uh, Holland, yeah, I mean, Ajax, Ajax is the go-to one. Uh, Vitesse as well, they almost got 20 million. Uh, PSV as well, but yeah, n- not as popular to do a uh, career mode with them. So yeah, we go to Italy, another top European league. Juve, wait, this is FIFA. Who's Juventus? There's no team called Juventus. It's Piemont Calcio. <laughs> Who's Juventus? But yeah, they'll have just over 100 million there. And they'll be really strong. And it's really uh, disappointing. Like, <laughs> there's no team to get close. At least with how much money they have. Like Milan. Normally, you'd see like Milan and like AC Milan and Inter Milan. Uh, so, the, uh, the Inter's got 48 million. It's still... It's still over half, or well, less than half, uh, to what Juve are, and Juve is just going to be able to keep uh, splashing those cash, uh, splashing the cash, yeah, keep splashing the cash to buy the big names. It's Roma thirty-seven, Roma, yeah, I always I find Roma a fun team to do, um, but yeah, it's it's definitely as a challenge. Uh, Juve again, oh, <laughs> uh, uh, that's not what they're going to be called in the game. Piemont Calcio is is their name, so. Uh, let's just move down, and as I said, you, you want to know that Japan Japan could be very interesting uh, to do a career mode with. Uh, take a look at the Japanese sides there. Uh, so, yeah, you got your Korea. There's Amani, Mexico. There's actually a, a little bit more than I expected. Some teams are close to 20 million. Ooh, there's one 33 million there. So, yeah, th- that could be a bit of a fun one. At least you'll have a bit of money to spend. Uh, Norway, and again, we're just gonna we're gonna go Portugal. No, you got FC Porto on twenty million, Befica twenty two million as well. Uh, like they're the big two. But now on to Spain. If we take a look here, guys, Barcelona one hundred sixty nine million, Real Madrid. They're almost identical, which is which is reasonable. Uh, but Atletico Madrid still sixty one enough money to play with. But Barcelona, Real Madrid can go crazy. Uh, Valencia. 59 million. There's still a good amount uh, for other sides. Yeah, Valencia with that 59. Uh, Villarreal, almost 30 million. And Sevilla, just over 31 as well. So, yeah, those kind of teams you're going to be able to uh, compete with and maybe push. Could be a challenge for you to go for to break that top four. Yeah, break that top four. Uh, yeah, will be will be pretty interesting. Uh, there's Malaga there. There's kind of Malaga and Las Palmas. Like those, those two... Um, uh, La Coruña as well. Uh, they've got oh, just over seven million. Got a little bit to work with, and yeah, those are a bit of the other divisions. Turkey, yeah, Turkey have got some uh, good sides. You see, Besiktas twenty six million, uh, Fenerbahce twenty six, Galatasaray twenty five. So they're kind of around that. Those bigger sides are in around those same marks. Uh, oh, USA, USA, and Canada. You got the yeah. Um, when I was looking for uh, like through a few of these, there's like new divisions. It seems like that weren't in career mode before, so had to make sure and check which ones are in FIFA 19. But yeah, if you take a but yeah, that's in the MLS because yeah, Canada. Let me know 
Uh, yeah, let me know what you think of uh, this anyways. A, a lot of... Uh, like When I was going through the Jap- Japanese teams and that, so... Uh, yeah, uh, would they be new? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, because I wasn't, uh, some of them I haven't seen before, uh, some of those teams in career mode, but, uh, anyway, uh, yeah, you can see the MLS, you can see the MLS teams here, and they've got, they got good money, really, to what I was, not, obviously I knew, yeah, there's, there's good money, uh, there's good money in them, but, uh, in terms of the level of their league, the money's maybe a bit higher if you put it in comparison with other divisions, but yeah, uh, that is very, very intriguing. Though, that is going to be it for uh, for that. That's all the transfer budgets. That's all the transfer budgets. So the transfer budget we have published are for the first season. So don't forget that you can adjust them. So yeah, this is official. So yeah, Rodrigo Lopez um, for FIFAGameNews.com. Uh, shout out to him. Uh, thank you very much uh, for uh, for the transfers for the transfer budget for FIFA 20. But again, just to finish off this video, we have got this screen. Uh, let me know what you thought of it anyway, as I mentioned at the start of the video, and all the transfer budgets that I did show you. So, of course, I'm not at Gamescom, so I can't really choose to record what I want or maybe what you guys want. Uh, it'll be cool to get that opportunity one day to go play yeah, FIFA 20 or the, the new FIFA game early. So, yeah, appreciate the support on my videos to get to that position one day. Uh, thank you, guys. Thank you to everyone uh, that watches my videos. But, yeah, as more stuff starts to come out, I'll uh, show, show it to you guys and give you my thoughts on that and, yeah, all that good stuff. So I'll catch you guys in the very next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you guys next time.